What is up guys, it's Clayton from the Wenatchee Valley Museum again and I'm back with another instructional video and today we'll be making a balloon powered Lego car. Like always, I'm going to go over what you need. So obviously you need your balloon. You need longer pieces for the body. As you can see here I have one long piece and a shorter piece and then you also need a skinny connector piece that will be used to hold them together. You're going to need at least four sets of wheels. As you can see this one, I have six, but that's not needed. That's just the pieces I had. Also, you're going to need pieces to make the, the balloon holder itself. And these are the two, four, six, eight. These are the eight block pieces I have. One, two, three, four of those. And then I have two smaller two block pieces. And then finally, I have a little decorative piece that's just a little RTD2. And you guys can do however you'd like, but this is just my design. So, what we're going to start by doing is by making the body. So, I'm going to grab those long pieces again. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to connect the brace or the connector piece to them, like so. And on mine, I'm leaving some to hang over so there's room for me to later to come back and add my wheels to it. But for now, that was pretty simple and we're just going to set that aside. Now really quick, we're going to move on to the balloon holder. So the first piece, we're going to have this one and just lay it down. And then we're going to connect it like this. So it's going to go crossways. So it's going to be like making a T. So you have this one going straight up and down the green piece and then the tan piece is going horizontally and then we're going to go in and at the ends of the tan piece we're going to add both of the smaller lego pieces the two block ones and now add the connector piece and i actually messed up but it's okay to give ourselves more room because when the balloon expands if it gets too big it could knock the holder itself off of the body so we're going to add another eight block piece underneath the one we have so it should look like this two on the bottom the two connector pieces are the small pieces then the one on top and then once again we're just going to lay it down just like so so that's ready all right so now we're going to grab our wheels really quick the wheels are extremely simple that overhang I left so it's four blocks on the edge I'm going to connect this set of wheels to it and make sure there's even so on my car I have two and two blocks hanging off on either, either side and then on the front end I'm just going to go ahead and connect these set of wheels like so so this is what you should have so far just the body with nothing to power it it should roll just fine okay so now we're going to go ahead and connect the balloon holder and that's pretty simple you're just going to connect it at the end of the body that you want to be the rear so for me i want the larger wheels to be the rear so it's kind of higher in the back end and lower in the front end all right now really quick now we're going to insert our balloon through the holder okay if the top piece pops off. Just make sure it's inserted all the way, press it all the way back down. Okay, this is what you have left now. Now it's completed and ready to go. Now like I said, I have one piece I'm just going to customize it with. It's a little R2-D2. I'm just going to put it right up on the front. And you guys can go crazy and add whatever you'd like. Okay, and one more piece of advice, make sure, because okay, we see the opening of the balloon where we're going to force the air into, don't have it all the way out so there, the tunnel here, I guess, or the tube isn't all the way out because if it does that, like I said before, when you go with the blow the balloon, it's gonna pop off your top piece. So make sure when you have your balloon inserted, you have the mouthpiece or the hole almost flush against the holder itself. All right, so let's see if it works. Alright guys, so as you can see I have my balloon full of air. You guys can make it larger if you'd like, 
My design doesn't allow for it to get too much bigger. Like I said before, this top piece might come off or it will knock off my little RTD tube. So what you're gonna do is, the opening, you're gonna point away the opposite direction you'd like this to travel. So I want mine to travel to my right or your left. So I'm gonna point this off to my left. So all you're gonna have to do is set it down and once you're ready, just let go. All right, seems like it works. Okay guys, that was a pretty quick and simple video, but I hope it all made sense. And I hope you guys experiment and go wild and make whatever designs you'd like. All right guys, I'll see you soon. Hello, this is Karen, the Lego lady. What will you build today? <gasps> Look at the flower. Look at the little bee. <gasps> What's over here? I think I see more flowers. And look, a Statue of Liberty. Oh my goodness, what else is there? A flower, another flower, and what's behind it? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It's a large Statue of Liberty. What will you build today? What will you dream up? Will it be Voltron, the mighty robot? Or will it be a galaxy far, far away? Perhaps Star Wars. What are they doing in there? Look at that. You can build anything, anything your imagination can dream up.